So in this video I'm going to install the scales onto the x-axis on the mini mill. Well I need to gain access to the back of the table and I'm really reluctant to uh, take the column off. Uh, two reasons really. It's really heavy and uh, it also took me ages to tram uh, when I first got this machine. So uh, what, what I'm hoping to do is just to take it off by one unit Seems to be working all right. Might be heavy. Oh. Gib strips fallen off, but uh, you can expect that. Well, I'm thinking that if I drill a hole towards the top end of that bracket to position it there, and then reduce this down a little bit so I can do the same on this side. And then slot this little piece of aluminium in there to offer protection. That might work. And there's also, that does leave a gap down here, so I can attach something on here. Well, I've uh, drilled the holes on each of the brackets and then uh, just use this punch to punch through and mark the centre. I've done that on the other side as well. So I'm going to uh, drill these uh, I think 3.3 millimetres and then tap uh, M4. It's good so far, so I just need to do the other side and then uh, cut it to length. I'm using this very fine jeweler saw to cut it to length. Well, this uh, seems to be working out okay at the moment. Um, now, this is one of the brackets that comes with um, the scale. Now. Uh, it would be fantastic if it was flat, but it isn't. It's 90 degrees. Because if it was flat, then I think that the bracket would fit under there and then on top of here. So what I'm going to try and do is to flatten it. Um, not sure whether that will work out okay. But I think it's worth a try. Well, that's worked out pretty flat. So I'll um, just undo the ends, fit it to the back and then see how it fits on this face here. Well this must be my lucky day, I've never known things go so well and smoothly. Um, the bracket's on and uh, I've put a couple of washers just under the bracket on this face and they're not tight but they're not loose. So hopefully they're a perfect fit. So what I'm going to do now is drill and tap an M3 thread in these two locations and put these uh, little M3 cap head screws in place and hopefully that will be the x-axis done. Okay so before tightening up these uh, cap head screws I left them slightly loose and moved the table uh, from each uh, farthest point making sure that there were no tight spots and there weren't any so I've just nipped these screws up now 
and put the remote display on and everything seems to be working fine. Now one thing I haven't done, which I forgot about really, um, was this cover. Now really for this cover to fit, it, it should fit underneath these brackets. So that's going to affect uh, this bit here. So what I'll do is, I'll, I'll cut this angle to length, I'll drill it at the appropriate place, and then I'll uh, use a bit of this angle plate just to put a piece under here, just to offset it by the same amount. So hopefully that will be okay. Well that seems to have worked out pretty well. And it's nice and tidy. It's not higher than the table, isn't the cover? So uh, I must have done something wrong. Something's going to go pear-shaped. Anyway, looks all right at the moment. So just as a rough test, one full turn of my hand wheel is equal to two millimeters. Looks pretty good. Very happy with that. Well, I must say I found that to be uh, extremely straightforward and uh, I hope you uh, found it of some use. And in my next video, I'll be tackling the Y-axis.